The artificial intelligence world is rapidly changing present AI innovations by companies like Tesla, who are accelerating at such a rapid pace, making it tough for the counterparts to keep up. The Tesla Autopilot is the most intelligent real-world AI in the world today, one of the most incredible robots in the world and continues to be. Today we're talking about the most advanced AI and what this could mean for the future. Today we're talking about artificial intelligence that not only thinks for itself, but makes decisions according to its own selective mind, just like a human would. And Kathy Wood also believes that Tesla to be the biggest AI play in the future. We're talking about the Cybertruck and why Tesla is finding people if they're selling it within one year of purchase. Then Ive says, tech bull run has just begun. Gary Black is comparing the Model 2 with the first release of the iPhone. Goldman Sachs analysts see a future in FST if handled right and so much more. So stay tuned and welcome back to my channel where I give you the latest Tesla news. For us, it was exciting to see Tesla's AI become more than just a robot on wheels, but a real-world AI system that perceives the world and has the potential to make its own decisions. Tesla's AI learns from watching and observing videos from Tesla's driven millions of miles. As Elon mentioned, it had never been taught to watch out for cyclists or pedestrians and how to behave in a construction zone, but somehow knew how to react. Artificial intelligence is one of the most anticipated future investments to date. Many business leaders have started making large investments into AI, engaging in increasingly advanced practices known to enable scale. In the tight market of AI talents. These leaders are looking out for companies laying in the technology that is provided efficient solutions to future problems. How is Tesla's AI efforts changing the game for the industry? Will it become a competitive race for AGI? Now, what is AGI? AGI is an artificial intelligence, a type of intelligent agent. If realized, an AGI could learn to accomplish any task that humans or animals can perform. Alternatively, AGI has been defined as an autonomous system that surpasses human capabilities in the majority of valuable tasks. Timeline for AGI development remains a subject of ongoing debate among researchers and experts. Elon Musk has been pushing for some sort of regulatory oversight. Elon believes that EI should be developed with caution. Tesla is a company that is known for its innovative electric vehicles, but also known to be the leader of the EI space. The company's efforts span across various domains like self-driving robots and supercomputing and neural networks. These efforts are not only aimed at improving the performance and safety of products, but also creating new revenue streams. Elon Musk EI Venture XEI has recently introduced its debut EI model named Croc. Elon Musk disclosed that the software is supposed to have a bit of a wit and it should answer spicy questions that other EIs may dodge. Another area where Tesla is applying EI is the robotic domain where it aims to create a humanoid robot, the TeslaBot. TeslaBot is intended to perform tasks that otherwise would be unsafe or repetitive or boring. The same software and hardware that is powered FSD will be used to teach the TeslaBot. TeslaBot is expected to be a game changer for the robotics industry. It could potentially disrupt various sectors such as manufacturing, agriculture, healthcare, entertainment, and so much more. And if you like this kind of content, please like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss another video. Tesla's most known EI is of course FSD, which is designed to enable vehicles to drive autonomously in any condition and environment. The technology relies on a combination of advanced EI for vision and planning. Tesla collects massive amounts of real-world data from its fleet. This is used to train the FSD neural networks. Experts believe that FSD technology is to provide massive benefits for customers, such as increased safety, 
and cost savings. Also, new sources of income for the company, such as FSD subscription service and future robo taxis, which Tesla is already in talks with Hertz. Tesla is developing its supercomputing domain with the company training system called Dojo and is designed to be the world's fastest AI training machine capable of processing data. Dojo will also be accessible to other researchers and developers who will be able to use Dojo to train their own AI models through a public facing API, meaning they can create a new platform for AI innovation and collaboration. Tesla can charge for Dojo's system, having the ability to harness massive amounts of data in less time. Experts predict that Dojo will be able Tesla to prioritize and process and then analyze the data more efficiently, then deploy updates and enhancements to its vehicles faster and more frequently. Morgan Stanley projects that Tesla's robo-taxi business could be worth up to $400 billion by 2030. Tesla's EI efforts are also strategic and could generate massive amounts in return for the company in the future. So here comes some exciting news from last week. So this was just on Monday. Tesla Indian Overdrive EV giant seeks short-term tariff relief for manufacturing hub. Elon Musk is negotiating with the Indian government for a conditional short-term reduction in import tariffs on EVs. This comes after Tesla explores the possibility of setting up a manufacturing hub in the subcontinent. The current rate is 70% for vehicles under $40,000 and a whopping 100% for those priced higher. This is crazy. Also on Monday, EG Group partners with Tesla for major EV charging expansion in Europe. In a significant advancement for European EV landscape, UK-based petrol stations operating EG Group is set to acquire ultra-fast charging units from Tesla to broaden its EV charging network across the continent. Just imagine how this is going to impact the company. So now, Gary Black is so smart, analyst draws parallel between the Model 2 and Apple iPhone. A game changer. Gary Black continues to view a $25,000 Model 2 as a game changer. He compares this to when Apple took over the cell phone market. He's expecting Tesla to build the Model 2 within 18 months. Now, this is exciting. I also follow Dan Ives on X. I love his post. So Dan Ives, an analyst at Wetbush, said the tech bull market has just begun. Tech stocks are set up for strong 2024 as the EI spending tidal wave hits the shores of the broader tech sector, he said. This is the start, in my opinion, of the new tech bull market. I was just in Montana, I saw a lot of bears going into hibernation mode. Also, this is awesome, on Tuesday, ARC's Kathy Wood believes Tesla to be the biggest EI play in the world. Here's where we've learned how important Tesla's uh, proprietary data is. Uh, it's five million robots around the world Cruise didn't have anything like that. It had hundreds. Five million robots around the world collect data every day and send it back to Tesla. Tesla has more corner cases, which means disengagements, accidents, uh, information like that, than all the other companies in the world combined. And I have to tell you, watching the breakthroughs in AI that we are seeing, they are astounding, the, the speed at which this is moving. Right. Uh, so it is interesting. I think it's a data issue. Autonomous taxi platforms uh, are the biggest AI project in the world. And therefore, we think Tesla is the but biggest you have sold, AI But you've sold Tesla shares. And it's, so, you know, it used to be the number one holding, I believe, mm -hmm. in, your, in your ETF. It's now number three. You've sold yes. about 20 million shares. Yes. Why? So, um, well, whenever it goes up, it was up uh, about 150% relative to our other names, many of which had not moved. So we will all, always um, uh, recycle that way, take profits. And our market share uh, expectations for Tesla go up, right. you know? And so to answer the question, we sold as it was up 150% relative to everything else. We have not sold m much since then. And it will, all, it will, if we're right on this autonomous uh, taxi opportunity, it will remain in the top five in, right. in our fund, in our flagship. Mark Delaney, the analyst with 
Goldman Sachs reiterates a neutral rating for Tesla with a price target of $235. Delaney believes Tesla's EI licensing and service business has upside depending on how well it is executed. The Magnificent 7 add more than $200 billion to their market caps. The combined market cap of the Magnificent 7 increases to $11.7 trillion at Tuesday's close, representing about 29.1% of the total market cap of the S&P 500. And here we go. Tesla has reportedly removed a clause in their order agreement that threatens legal actions against Cybertruck owners who resell their vehicles within the first year. This was issued for price stability and Kevin Green, who is with the Schwab Network, explains it best. It's got a little bit of a string attached to it. <laughs> yeah, we continue to get a lot of updates when it comes to the Cybertruck. Now, it is expected to actually start deliveries on November 30th of this year, but we are also getting some updates around their terms and conditions when it comes to purchasing this vehicle. Right now, it is being reported uh, that a, that they are basically requiring uh, those that buy this vehicle that they cannot sell it within a year unless receiving official approval or written approval from Tesla. And those that actually do try to sell it to third parties could actually face up to $50,000 when it comes to uh, a form of a uh, lawsuit and things of that nature here. So a very interesting development to say the least. Now, it's not surprising we are actually seeing this type of action here. We have seen uh, with really new rollouts for Tesla, not only just Tesla, but for some other cars, uh, sometimes we see this huge influx in demand when it comes to the vehicle. And then we see this reselling on third-party platforms at pretty high prices. So I think Tesla really wants to try to dampen that down in order to uh, prevent consumers from, uh, from being discouraged, if you will, from trying to put in orders for the truck that has been an issue that we have seen um, in the past when it comes to certain vehicles that the you know the secondary market was priced so high you know some consumers actually then kind of held off on trying to purchase a vehicle here so so i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one my name is claudia and goodbye